Split Second is a teen thriller set in our own contemporary world in the not that far distant future. Um, it's the story of the aftermath of a terrorist bomb attack in London that the two main characters, uh, teenagers Nat and Charlie, get caught up in. And the story is really about one of their involvement or potential involvement in the circumstances that led to the bomb, what they know about it, and the other trying to find out what they know. And hopefully, uh, as the story twists and turns and the two characters discover more and more things about what's really going on, it's a, a fast-paced read and one in which you're constantly wondering what's really the truth. Nat, uh, well both of them I should say come from quite troubled home backgrounds, uh, though in, in different ways. Nat, um, well the start of the story is this terrorist bomb blast in which Nat's brother is left in a coma and this incident has the most traumatic effect on his entire family. So Nat at, at the beginning is really carrying a lot of responsibility on his shoulders and he's quite a thoughtful and highly intelligent person. So. He's really trying hard to understand what's gone on, why things have happened as they have. He's, he's, he's the more reflective one of the two, but also incredibly brave and very loyal. Um, Charlie, on the other hand, is much, uh, you know, I think less thoughtful a character. She's also comes from a, um, or is put into a, a very difficult situation. And her response is really to try and keep people at arm's length a little bit and she's impulsive where Nat maybe is more thoughtful and she struggles to come to terms with what's been going on, what, what's going on around her in the political world but, but more you know, wanting to deal with it through action whereas Nat's more concerned to find um, uh, a kind of more uh, intellectual level of understanding about what's been going on. Charlie just wants action. I'd really enjoyed the dual narrative that I uh, used in Blood Ties and Blood Ransom and I was hoping that I would be able, in a position, to do a story where I could use that again. So it was something I was definitely looking to do. And when I thought about this particular story and how I wanted to approach it, it was obvious that I needed two main characters, a boy and a girl, and that at the start of the story they wouldn't quite know um, what to make of each other and that would cause a lot of tension between them. So it was really because I thought it would make for a more exciting story, but it's also great fun to write to be able to alternate between the pair of them. I suppose the main way in which I tried to keep the tension going was to have both the main characters, and therefore hopefully the reader, unsure of who they can really trust for most of the way through the book. Those um, uh, allegiances and loyalties do shift as they discover things about various characters but but basically I just wanted the characters to be on the uh, edge of their seats as it were not sure what was going to what was going to come next what to expect especially of all the adults around them in this political world that they uh, that, that was tr you know transforming on a daily basis and getting worse and worse so the characters are, are, are unsure of what's going on around them and who they can trust and therefore the reader hopefully will also not be quite sure what to expect and that's always I think the way that thrillers work best if the action is both unexpected by the reader and yet also when it happens convincing. The real starting point for the story in terms of its setting was really me watching the news and seeing the state of the economy in places like Greece and just thinking how easy it is for things to get out of control in a country. You know, you, have, you start with democracy and the rule of law and then things become difficult, problematic, people in authority seem to um, make, mis make mistakes, the ordinary person feels very let down and then they turn to, often, extremist groups to looking for solutions that the standard democratic political parties haven't offered. Now that sounds all a bit heavy and political and Split Second is very far from that. It's a, it's, it's a thriller first and foremost. It's an adventure story. 
but definitely I was really interested in trying to explore what Britain might be like if that kind of thing, you know, plus, you know, worse stuff um, actually happened here. I hope so. I really hope there'll be a sequel. Um, I'm planning it at the moment. Uh, I, I think, without giving anything away about the ending of the book, I think there is more that could be written about what happens to Nat and Charlie, and I'd certainly love the chance to go back and write a bit more of their story.